Has the society ever made you feel like your dreams are too big just because you're youth? Or that you should limit your dreams and focus more on your family just because you're a female? Well, that's an everyday routine for young people and especially young women working very hard to make a positive change in the world. And I can totally relate. My name is Heja. I am a social entrepreneur and international NGO consultant. I also have the privilege to be a mentor for many youth around the world, establish their own social enterprises and confirm their ideas into projects that will serve their communities. Most recently, I was a peer mentor at the International Youth Assembly at the United Nations headquarters, where I had the privilege to mentor 30 young leaders from 10 different countries. I have been in this field for more than nine years, um, working very hard to build a career that not only satisfies my ambitions, but also gives back to the community. I've been blessed with many international and local achievements and I've built a very wide network, social and professional network around the world. People ask me a lot of questions on a daily basis, and in Kurdistan, let me tell you the most frequent ask that people ask me here, most frequent asked questions, and it is, do you know how to cook? If you're curious, yes, I do know how to cook, and I cook very well. Now, we will not go into that discussion of how that question makes me feel and that gender discrimination that I have to deal with every single day. I'm very happy to be here in the beautiful city of Duhok for the first time in 21 years. And today we will talk about social entrepreneurship, the importance of investing in youth-led projects and how you, government and private sector, can support this. People also ask me why I do this while I have an engineering degree, since I have a bachelor in a degree in engineering, and how I manage to all the, do all these activities, have a full-time job, and travel the world. I basically do what I love for a living. I don't have a specific answer, to be honest. Um, maybe it's the power to be able to impact the global community and inspire others with my little success stories, but I cannot imagine myself doing anything else. What's best about being a social entrepreneur and a young leader is that you do not necessarily need a university degree to become one, which is very convenient for us in Kurdistan since we do not get to study what we want. It's all based on our score and what our family wants us to be. Now, this is not to discourage education. Please don't get me wrong. It is, all, it is only to encourage us that we can start our initiatives anytime in our lives. Today's youth population is the largest the world has ever witnessed. And in the words of Ban Ki-moon, we are the very first generation that can end poverty and the very last to end climate change. Now, this is a huge responsibility. With half of the world being under the age of 30, the time to act now, and with all the challenges that are facing the global community and Kurdistan, we have to take an action. I would like to introduce something to you. Do you know what this is? Please raise your hand if you know what this is. Okay, we have a few that knows. This is the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, the 2030 Agenda. This is a plan of action for people, prosperity, and planet. It also seeks to strengthen the universal peace on a larger freedom. It's recognized that eliminating poverty with all its forms and dimensions, including extreme poverty, is one of the biggest global challenges and an essential requirement for sustainable development goals. All countries and stakeholders act in collaborative partnership will implement this plan. It is resolved to free the human race from the tyranny of poverty and to want to secure and heal our planet. The, the world is ready to take the bold and transformative steps needed to shift our world onto a sustainable and resilient path. As Kurdish youth, it's our responsibility to join the world and work on the sustainable development goals and make sure that we leave a world that's better for our children and the generations to come. Youth also today are very lucky to have various means of communication. After all, we're the generation of technology. At a glance of a button, we can access a huge amount of information around the world and resources. Do you realize how amazing that power is? 
The previous generations did not have that option. We're the very first smart generation on this planet. The referendum for independence is less than a month away. It's true that we have the dream to become independent, but are we economically strong enough to maintain the status? And this does not have to rely on oil alone. We have to come up with innovative business and social models that are sustainable on a long run. Do we have enough human resources to run this country? If we have enough for today, do we have enough for tomorrow? Now, it's not only the government's responsibility to develop this country. Everyone has to contribute. More than 70% of our population is under the age of 30. And this is not just in Kurdistan, this is a global phenomenon. And as Hillary Clinton once said, young people are at the heart of today's strategic opportunities and challenges. From rebuilding the global economy and combating violent extremism to building sustainable democracies. I think we can overcome a lot of challenges through social enterprise ideas. Now, for the ones of you who don't know what a social enterprise is, you basically make money while working on a good cause. Social enterprise is how we define, create, and maintain values differently. Now, I know what you're thinking, young leaders and youth in this room. We have the ideas, we have the potential, but we need the support. Now, the 2030 Agenda is a call for action for everybody. It calls for inclusion and partnership between individuals, private sectors, government, and everyone is required to take an action. Now, let's start with business sector and allow me to give you some ideas of how you can do this. Raise your hand if you have ever heard of the Resolution Project. Okay, nobody. Raise your hand if you have ever heard of university social ventures. Okay, this next one is big. You, have, you must have heard of it. Have you ever heard of Google Ventures? Currently known as the GV, Google Ventures provides seed, venture, and growth funding sta fund, uh, stage funding to technology companies. The firm operates independently from Google and takes financially driven investment decision. They have invested in over 300 companies in the world, including the very famous Uber application that we all use when we travel. Big companies can start launching business and social ventures where you can invest very little money as seed funding in innovative ideas that can eventually make millions of dollars in the future. Support environmental friendly ideas to secure our planet and make Kurdistan clean and green again. Support new health projects to make quality healthcare more accessible. And most importantly, invest in education and provide our community with a holistic education system. There are a lot of young leaders in our community and in this room today with brilliant ideas. Support them with your financial resources, professional expertise, provide them with that creative, safe environment to test their ideas and develop them into prototypes. So I urge you today to take an action and use your financial and professional expertise to support them. Now, the government plays a crucial role in this scenario as well. First of all, statistics are very important. Uh, we do not have a reliable source of statistics where we can easily identify the demands and the gaps in our community. Second, youth activities are not promoted and youth are not equally represented in the government or political bodies. Do we even have a minister of youth? If we do, how old is he? In the United Arab Emirates, the minister of youth is a female and she's only 22 years old. Having that representative in the government will bring back pride to our youth and will become a support system for their initiatives. Now, the culture in Middle East and in Iraq and Kurdistan does not create a safe environment for us youth to express our thoughts. Instead, we have been taught that we have to listen to our elders and keep our opinions for ourselves in their presence. It's time to create a new culture, 
a culture where innovative ideas are respected and valued no matter who they come from. Inequality in Kurdistan grows faster than many other countries. The revolution for development happened so fast that we only imported development and we never in invented anything for our own. At no point have we ever supported creativity and initiation for social change. We might think that we are super smart. I'm very sorry to disappoint you, we're simply not that smart. But I hope we are smart enough to start thinking about the challenges and identify the problems around us. Otherwise, it will be too late to work on them. Now, people also ask me if I earn a lot of money. My fellow youth and young leaders, success is not always about earning. Success is about having the freedom to follow your passion. It's about living your dream, and that's how I chose to live my life. How do you want to live yours? Before I end my speech today, I want you all, everyone, to gift yourself something. It is said that the best gift that you can give to yourself is to challenge yourself. Challenge yourself with something that you love to do and start identifying the problems around you. Contribute to the solutions and have an added value to our community. If you do this, the generations to come will have a better world than the one we have today and your legacy will shine after you. Thank you very much.